So, quick step by step video on this is a 2011, October 2011, so 2012, Ecotech four cylinder Chevy Captiva. So, alternator change. You need to take out the motor mount, the bracket for the motor mount, of course all these stupid plastics that you really don't need in the first place. Then you jack your motor up, see, jacked up, yeah, whole car jacked up actually, then of course loosen the belt. You got to loosen your power steering pump. They probably call it to take it off. They probably call it to take the this top hose off, which I have fandangled this thing to the point of where I didn't have to do that. And then there's three bolts, these three bolts, holding this bracket, which holds your alternator and your power steering. Power steering goes on this part of the bracket, alternator goes down there, of course. Um, take this bracket off, it's three bolts. One slink, one is right there. And there's one straight down below it, and then another one off to the right side of this top one. After you get those out, you fan dangle this past the power steering pump, throw this on the floor, because you won't need that till later. Shouldn't fucking need it in the first place. And then look. Oh my gosh. It fucking comes out. Oh, phone down. Look that. If you want to, you can just go ahead and throw the alternator away. And not put another one on here because it needs to go in a junkyard anyway. Oh. And there we go. I'll stay around. Stupid. Pointless. Blame the manufacturer. For putting an alternator next to a damn frame in the first place. Oh yeah, you gotta take that, that ground wire out too. Make sure you take that out. Because if that gets in your way, you ain't gonna be able to get it out either. So let's just put everything we fucking possibly can in the way to make it difficult. But she's out. Same thing to go back in, put your alternator in first. Just set it down there on top of the condenser or compressor, AC compressor, sorry. And then you have to fan dangle your brace, your bracket in behind this and then Situate your alternator in there, put your bolts in, and then it's just bolting everything back. Not so simple, not too easy. Oh well, got her done.